So I was just minding my own business, scrolling through TikTok this morning when I stumbled upon a video that was rather interesting, okay? So there's a TikToker who posted this video of what appears to be Clay telling AD, urging AD, in fact, to say no to him at the altar. And it got me thinking, wait a minute, did they have this discussion before? Because we are very well aware that these couples have these discussions beforehand about what they're going to say at the altar and everything. And they're typically well aware of what the other person is going to say. And then they have the choice to either move forward and continue with a yes, even if they know the other person is going to say no, or spare themselves and say no first, right? And, you know, it's kind of a rhetorical question because in my recap of the episode, this is a big frustration that I had with AD in the first place. The fact that she knew that Clay was going to say no. Clay said repeatedly that he struggled with the idea of marriage because looking at his father emotionally abuse his mother throughout their marriage with all of the infidelities and whatnot. He didn't know if he was capable of being a good husband. And he also said on two separate occasions that he didn't like, he didn't understand why AD wanted to get married on this particular date. He needed more time to work on himself, right? So anyway, I'm going to show you guys the video and then we'll come back and talk a little bit about why AD might have potentially said yes to Marion Clay despite knowing that he wanted her to say no and that he didn't want to get married. Clay literally tells AD no while they're getting married, and she just totally misses it. A union. A union of two. A dedication. Many have chosen lifelong partnerships, but today, we celebrate yours. We celebrate yours. He and literally I, says no, and she just completely misses it. Today, we celebrate the union of Clay. I hate the fact that they asked her first. I hate this so much for her. I hate this so much for her. As if the red flags were not already there and then him literally saying like verbally that he's not marriage material. He has all these daddy issues. And then he's telling you, no, you're so like far gone into this that you miss even that. That's wild. He literally says no. Oh my God. So there you go. You see him mouth it, no. And then his eyes are like, no, please, no, basically. And AD was right there getting ready to say yes anyway. So I've got a couple of theories as to why that could be. I think that one option is that AD wanted to have a victim edit. This wouldn't be the first time it happened on Love is Blind. Remember in season one, Mark, who was 10 years younger than Jessica, played the victim on the show all the while in real life behind the scenes. He was thoughting and bopping at his local gym, um, you know, picking up girls and cheating on Jessica and everything like that. In fact, he's now married to a woman that he cheated on with LC during the, the program, right? I'm not saying that AD's out here thought and bopping, wheeling and dealing or anything like that, but it just goes to show that some people, they want a certain image on TV. Kenny as well from season one, remember he was having his huge meltdown behind the scenes or we saw it on, on the show and everything like that when Kelly said no at the altar. But come to find out, he knew she was going to say no, and his real issue was the fact that he didn't get to say no first, right? Um, and, and there have been other people who kind of go down that road as well. Now, um, I think another option could be that she was in denial. She kind of felt like maybe she could force his hand in front of everybody. Maybe she felt like he was asking her to say no first because he didn't have the heart to say no if she said yes. That could always be a possibility. And the final potential that I'm seeing is the idea that she wanted to, to be true and to be authentic and to be real in her with her response. Because even at the end, after Clay says no, when she's heartbroken, devastated and crying, what does she say? She says that there's nothing that Clay could have done or said to make her say no to him at the altar. So I guess him telling her, please say no, is an example of that, right? And throughout the experience, him repeatedly saying that he thinks that he's got the cheating gene and that he's gonna be bound to cheat on her also couldn't make her say no, you know what I mean? So again, this is why I was so frustrated with her when I watched back the finale episode because I really do think that AD broke her own heart. The signs were all there. Clay has always been 100% 
forthcoming and open from the very beginning about his traumas and everything that he was struggling with every step of the way. A lot of people ask, well, why did Clay do this show then? Well, here's the thing. I feel like potentially he thought that that could change. How many times do you get into a situation where you know going into it, like this is not really my vibe. This is doesn't really align with who I am, but then, you know, maybe I should give it a chance, right? And so you try, you try, you try, and you realize, you know what? I should have listened to myself, my initial instinct. This just truly is not for me. We've all gone through that, okay? And I think that this is an example of Clay um, going through that as well. Um, but yeah, I, I found that to be rather interesting that he was up there at the altar literally saying no. So um, the girl in the video, she claims that AD missed it, but I don't think that's the case. I do 100% believe that they had many conversations about this. Clay never hit anything. He said this already in front of us, the viewing audience, several times. I. I 1000% believe that AD knew that Clay was going to say no and Clay had been begging her to say no as well, but she just straight up refused to. So in my, now that begs the question, like, is she okay? You know what I mean? Oh, and there isn't a, uh, you know, and with the whole victim thing, it leads to like a certain level of it's manipulation, right? Like you're manipulating the audience to get a lot of sympathy or whatever. But to me, I'm like, how can I sympathize with someone who was repeatedly told not to do something like, you know, if someone repeatedly tells you they're not going to be a good partner to you, they don't want to get married to you on this date and you still say yes, I, I'm not going to be manipulated into feeling bad for you. You know, if that is the game that she's playing, another option is perhaps she's not that smart, but that's something that I don't want to believe. I believe where I'm choosing to believe that AD is an intelligent woman, right? So I, I, I don't know, like this whole thing just rather... I don't, it makes me sigh. You heard that sound. You heard that. Let me do it again, just in case you didn't hear. It makes me sigh, you know, just the whole situation. She knew from jump. So why did she put herself in this situation? I think this speaks to potentially low self-esteem as well. Like there are just so many things that could have led to her saying yes to a man who repeatedly told her no. Um, and those are just my ideas of it. It's either manipulation. It's either a lack of intelligence. It's either a, an example of low self-esteem. It could be so many things, but we will never know for sure. One thing I do feel like though, is that the two of them, I've seen videos on social media that they, um, could potentially be together right now. Like I think I saw a video of them celebrating Thanksgiving together in November of last year. Um, so maybe they worked on things behind the scenes, but I would love to hear them talk about like whether or not she truly was blindsided at the altar or if Clay was repeatedly having these conversations that we already saw with her about how he does not feel ready to get married. The whole thing is just, I don't know, it's disappointing. I wanted AD to, 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 exhibit a certain level of self-esteem you know on that altar and say you know what like clay i love you and everything but you have told me repeatedly that you are not ready for this and i want to be with someone who is 100 percent ready for me i do not want to be left waiting however long because you never know how long it'll take for you to be ready you know so i'm choosing to walk away so i'm disappointed that she didn't have that moment i feel like it could have been so powerful in that beautiful dress of hers and her louboutin shoes and everything like that just click clacking away with her beautiful girl squad you know I, I really genuinely feel disappointed by the way in which she answered up there at the altar i literally was like what the f girl like why would you say yes to this like there's quite literally not a single reason for you to say yes to this man you know but I digress. Guys, let me know what you think. Does see, but watching it back and seeing Clay literally mouth no to AD at the altar kind of make you wonder what the hell she was doing and why she would say yes, you know, when you think about that and all the other instances in which he literally said no, he wasn't ready for this. Like, what does it make you feel about her moving forward? And what do you, what types of questions do you hope she's asked at the reunion to properly address this? Make sure to let me know everything you feel in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.